My name is Akiva Goldman. I'm an attorney with Goldman and Associates, the founder and director of the firm. We uh, have a primary focus in our practice of uh, family law, so please subscribe to our channel. I want to deal with uh, an issue that comes up uh, frequently. Um, it happens when one of the parties threatens to take the children out of state. What are, what are you going to do when that happens? What are you supposed to do? What action should you take to deal with and or prevent that? Well, look, if your ex is telling you I'm taking the kids, um, there uh, obviously is a serious problem with respect to control, okay? If one person is saying without any discussion or any court order, I'm picking up and I'm leaving and I'm taking kids with me, you got an issue. Now, she can leave whenever she wants to. Once the kids, you know, the kids are being towed around the country, that's a whole other story of what you should be doing. If that occurs, you should contact your attorney say that there's a, uh, you know, I got a text, I got this, you know, it's a legitimate thing, she's not just blowing off steam, she te intends to leave. And what your attorney's probably going to do is he's probably going to file a motion that reflects what the custodial arrangement is and ask that it be changed. So in other words, if she, for example, has custody and you just have parenting time and now she wants to pick up and leave, thereby violating your parenting time, your attorney's got to be filing a motion to change the custody to make it joint or something. Or perhaps change the custody completely and give it to you since apparently the, there's a change in circumstances which causes her to be picking up and leaving. Now if there is no real change, she's just picking up and leaving to, you know, interfere with your abilities as a, as a uh, someone with parental rights and parenting time rights, well obviously the court needs to know about that too. But there's no self-help remedy that's really going to work in the long run here. It may feel good in the short run to do that, but in the long run, you're going to have to get the court involved. So reach out to your attorney, tell him what's happening. He's going to file an appropriate motion to make sure that the kids don't go anywhere without an order of the court, and, and that's how you'll proceed. Now, if you have any questions about that, reach out, of course, and we'll be glad to help you out.